Today, we're bringing you a preview of one of Zangari Man's upcoming releases, The Navigator, coming right up. Hello and welcome to the Lather Hog channel. I'm your host, John, and today we're talking about an upcoming release from Zangari Man called The Navigator. So you'll see that I've picked up the Navigator Seago Shaving Soap, as well as the brand new splash called the Recovery Splash in the same scent. Pricing on the soap is $22 USD, and pricing on the splash is $20.95 USD. If you take a closer look at the soap itself, see a nice clean label here, side labels, soap ingredients, lot number, URL for Zangari Man. So first up, let's talk about the scent. You can see right from the label that the scent is labeled as amber, marine, and musk. And to my nose, I get a very clean, fresh scent that evokes the salty sea air. The scent strength is fairly light. I would say about a four out of 10. I mean, really, I think this one's very easy to like. It has mass appeal and it really won't be offending anyone. Now going on to the soap itself, the Seago Shaving Soap Base. This is easily one of the best bases, I think, on the market right now. Top five for sure, as far as tallow or vegan soap bases. You don't need to use a lot of soap to create a dense, smooth, luxurious lather. I would say that Seago Base is above average thirst, so make sure to use plenty of water and hydrate it. You don't want to shave with too thick of a paste here. As you'll see, your razor really kind of gunk up and just not have as much glide as you'd want during your shave. Now, truth be told, I was most interested in checking out this new aftershave splash. I know that testing has been going on for a while for this formula, and let me just share with you this really extensive list of ingredients for the splash. I'll put it up right now. While we could take a while, uh, on this ingredient list, you can just see that there's tons of skin food, lots of ingredients that just really help nourish the skin and help calm the skin down after a shave. Now, one big thing when talking about post-shave products is the texture. Now you can see from inside the bottle here it is a milky white consistency. While there is some separation that occurs, it's only very slight. And I actually, you know, just from the naked eye, can't tell that separates. It kind of stays this, this color, this consistency for the most part. Now the best part of this splash, I think, is despite the numerous you know, skin goodies uh, listed here, when you apply it on your skin, there's no tackiness whatsoever. It kind of quickly you know, gets absorbed into the skin. The texture of the product doesn't really deviate much from you know, just being a watery texture, but the feeling it leaves afterwards, you know, whether you're a morning shaver or an evening shaver, I think I'll be quite pleased with the results of the recovery splash. And you know, after a few uses, this has easily made my top three products. Um, the other two that I would include amongst my favorites are male grooming splash. That one's an alcoholic one. And then another um, alcohol-free splash is from Oaken Lab. And that, that was a recent discovery. Those are my top three as of this recording at least. So if you're like me and you've been anticipating the release of this aftershave product, I would find it in your favorite scent or unscented even and give it a try. Now, lastly, I want to offer a scent pairing with Navigator. I think this budget friendly men's fragrance pairs perfectly and that's Original Penguin Premium Blend. This is one of those that will, if you follow fragrances at all, you can fi find it at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, for I think around $20 USD. And just like Navigator, this one, you know, you can use it after the gym. You can use it when just running errands. There's not really any special occasion. It's great for casual use, inoffensive, great for warm weather, and it could be just great for really any time. So if you're like me and the scent really ranks highly for you as far as your shaving goes, um, this is a great one to pair with Zangari Man the Navigator. All right, so that's it for today's review. Let me know, this is a new format that I'm experimenting with. I'm trying to just drill down and give you the must have info, especially with a soap that's just about to be released and you might be thinking whether or not you should pick it up. Again, just to recap, the scent on this one is fresh, clean, aquatic, 
it definitely reminds you of the ocean. The soap and the new splash itself are bar none one of the best available on the wet shaving market today. And like I said before, if you are at all curious about the splash, I think this might become a hype beast. Believe the hype and check it out in your favorite scent if possible. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for your time and tuning in. If you have any questions at all or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.